Hello year one, welcome to today's English lesson and happy Friday. After the weekend you will all be in class and I'm so excited. So for today's English lesson we are going to write a character description about Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, so I have got my picture of Little Red Riding Hood or as I like to call her Little Red and you should have the same in your work pack. I've also got my little red character here that I made for World Book Day, made out of a potato. I like to call her Little Red Riding Spud. Okay, so let's get started with our character description. So before I start writing my sentences, I need to think of some adjectives to describe Little Red Riding Hood. Can you remember what an adjective is? Well done, it is something that describes, um, sorry, it's a word that describes an object, an animal, a person, a place, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, look at Little Red Riding Hood and I'm going to describe the way she looks. So I can see that she is short. So I'm going to write sh. So I've got a sh sound or sound t sh or t short. Okay. I can see that she wears a red cloak. R -e -d. Nice and easy spelling. And I'm going to write cloak. Or O K. Sorry if you can hear that beeping. That is somebody at my door, and I think it's delivering something that I might be using in class next week. So K or O K. Okay. Red cloak. Oh, she has got brown hair. So let's write. B R ow n b r ow n hair h and then the air sound it's got three letters in that trigraph okay she oh what else she has a lovely smile or a nice smile I'm going to write n i curly k Eh, that's a tricky word to spell nice. Okay, so now I'm going to describe what um, how Little Red Riding Hood is as a person. So I know she's caring because she is delivering some goodies for her grandma who is poorly. So I'm going to write caring. K -a -r -i -n -g caring okay i think little red riding hood is kind K -i -n -d. kind okay so i think i've done enough adjectives there to describe little red riding hood so now i'm going to start writing my sentences now i spoke about our sentence writing and I said, I really wanted you to challenge yourself and I wanted you to write some more sentences. So that's what we're going to work on today. So I've got my green pen ready for my capital letters, red for my punctuation, purple for my adjectives. OK, so let's get started. So I want to introduce Little Red Riding Hood first of all. So I'm going to say Little Red, Little Red is a kind and caring girl. So that's eight words from my first sentence. So I'm just going to write it underneath here. So I need to start my sentence with a capital letter. So all, little, we should all know how to spell little by now. We've learnt it in three little pigs. We've learnt it now in Little Red Riding Hood. So Little Red, so it's her name. 
So again, I need a capital letter for her name. Little Red is, remembering my finger spaces, is a kind. Oh, so that's one of my adjectives. So I'm just going to show that and use a purple pen. So it is a kind and. So I'm joining my two sentences together there and making my sentence longer by joining um, and adding and in, which is something that I want you to also work on. Okay, so little red is a kind and caring. So again, another adjective that I've used to describe little red. So it needs to be in purple pen. Little Red is a kind and caring girl. So g, oh, uh, uh, sound, oh, g, uh, oh. Okay, lovely. I have finished my first sentence, so I need a full stop. I am just going to check that my sentence makes sense. Little Red is a kind and care caring girl. Brilliant. I now want to describe what she looks like a little bit. So if someone was reading this and it didn't have a picture of Little Red Riding Hood, they can picture her by reading my description of her. So I'm going to write, she has short brown hair and wears a red cloak. So that's 10 words there. So let's get started. I really need to concentrate now because I've got 10 words in this sentence. So she, so capital S, start, beginning of my sentence. She has a, a good, she has short. Okay, so again, that's one of my describing words. She has sh or brown so again I'm describing her hair colour so br ow mm. short brown hair okay and again my joining word and where's as a red. Again, I'm describing her cloak. So I'm going to use my purple to represent an adjective. A red cloak. Now I know how to spell cloak with my phonics. K or O sound. K Brilliant. And to finish my sentence, I need a full stop. Okay, let's check my sentence, see if that makes sense. Can you read along with me? She has short brown hair. Oh, do I need a capital letter there? Why do I do need a capital letter there? Oh, silly Miss Husband, but it's okay to make mistakes. I've noticed I've made a mistake, so all I'm going to do is cross that out and I'm going to write above it and replace it with a lowercase h. Okay, so let's read that again. She has short brown hair and wears a red cloak. Brilliant. So I've written two sentences so far. I'm going to write one more sentence. So for this sentence, I'm going to talk a little bit about what Little Red likes to do. And I know she likes to go for walks in the woods. So my sentence now is going to be she likes to go for walks in the woods but she needs to watch out for the big bad wolf oh my goodness that's 19 words in that sentence so we really need to concentrate let's see if you can help me so i know how to spell she i learned that in phonics from one of my tricky words and i've written it here so she Okay, likes, or again, that's one of our tricky words that we all know how to spell. She likes 
to go for walks in the, or do I need a capital T for the? No, because it's not at the beginning of my sentence. In the woods. W, our O sound, D. Okay, so I'm not going to do a full stop here. I'm going to include the conjunction but. So again, it adds more detail to my sentence. It's what we call conjunction. Okay, so it's similar to and, but, but. Okay, it compares something. So she likes to go for walks in the woods, but b or t. She needs n our e sound d. But she needs to watch w a t ch watch. Out, ow sound, making sure my t is a nice tall letter. Out for the, oh, the big bad wolf. Again, I'm describing, I'm using adjectives, so I need my purple pen. The big bad wolf. We all know how to spell wolf. And that is the end of my sentence. So I'm going to represent that with a red full stop. So that was quite a long sentence, wasn't it? So let's all read that sentence together. She likes to go for walks in the woods, but she needs to watch out for the big bad wolf. Okay, so I really challenged myself there and I have written more than one sentence. I have written three sentences in total and I've included and and but. Okay, so that is what I want you to work on. I want you to really challenge yourself and I want you to write more than one sentence. I want you to include and or but. I really want you to try your best in your neatest handwriting. I cannot wait to read your character descriptions and I cannot wait to see you on Monday morning. So I hope you have a lovely weekend and I will see you very soon. Bye.